Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is three challenge day. So we've got Marguerite Miller week 16. We've got hashtag little bits of lace 2024 and then hashtag Roxy's weekly challenge. So we are going to get started. Let's see here. Hap uh, we, well, we want to say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Donna, Marlo, Edie, and Denise. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, Marguerite Miller, week 16. We've got playing cards. We've got cursive writing. We've got an image in a couple of shades of green. Something that represents aviation. I found this American Airlines card. Piece of a restaurant menu. I um, printed out a piece from a restaurant here in town that serves buffalo. I thought that would be fun. And then a star, and I have these little stars on this wall decal thing. So that's what we're working with here. Let's just jump in and see what we can do. And uh, yeah, we, uh, I've got a fairly quick lace um, challenge this time. And then I think Roxy's weekly challenge is going to take me a little minute or two to do. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Stamp on those. Okay. So, what to do, what to do. Okay, I don't really want this whole thing. I really just wanted the um, buffalo. So, I'm just going to tear this down so we have a little more room for other things. Yeah, I one time did at this restaurant, I had buffalo. It was good. I mean, for buffalo. <laughs> I'm not very adventurous when it comes to um, when it comes to items in a restaurant. I just I have my favorites usually, and that's what I go to. You know, I think I'm just gonna tear this corner to corner. And I think I'll put that kind of like that. So that being the case, I kind of want this to show underneath. Uh, maybe I'll just use the whole thing. You know, part of me is like, oh, but you could, you could save some of it. Let's just go right here and then we'll save the rest for something else. It's very crunchy, so. I don't think like it wouldn't make a page in a journal or anything. Okay, glue. We need glue. So how are y'all yet today? I'm good. It's Monday. You know, I usually do this challenge this challenge video on Mondays. We just yesterday evening got home from Missoula. We went to our granddaughter Marin's volleyball tournament. So yesterday we were only in the gym for seven hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got out of bed this morning and I'm like, okay, um, let's see. Shoot. That's a little long. I should have torn that. Um, yeah, I, Got out of bed and thought, oh, my back hurts. <laughs> well, I think it's from sitting in the gym for seven hours. But the weekend before, we were in the gym for um, for 12 hours. So, you know, it was a light day. It was a light day yesterday. <laughs> but they did good. They ended up losing out in the their last game. But they did... They did a good job. Marin had a, had some great hits, some great digs. Yeah, it was super fun to watch her. And it was fun because my daughter-in-law's mom was there. So I got to chat with her, catch up a little bit. And um, 
she's she's a sweetheart i just love her so it was really fun to see her hadn't seen her in a while really through the winter you know we pretty much don't see each other and um she lives in a town that's a long ways away from us so um yeah i have no idea what i'm doing here guys okay so there's that Maybe I'll just put that like that. I guess so. I think I want to tear this off. And then I think I want, I still want the, I want the $52 for the filet mignon. Yikes. <laughs> it didn't even have a, have a price for the buffalo because I think it depends. I don't know. Let's see. I think I'm going to put that there and then I'll just glue that on top. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, it was great to see her. And then we would got notification last night late that our Maddie, he went to a wrestling tournament in Kansas City. He's the one from Denver in Kansas City. And he took sixth in his age group in this tournament, well, the top six um, spots, it qualifies them to be an All-American. So that was exciting to hear. There we go, I like that better. Okay, and what I thought was with the cards, I'd kind of make them into like a pocket for the I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to kind of put those on that like that, I think. Yeah, I just don't have a picture of an airplane anywhere, apparently. It's not something in my stash. So, but then I found those and I'm like, yes, that'll work. Okay, so then we're going to put this in here. Good, good. Now, stars. Oh, no, if I'm going to need to, probably not going to need, let's see, let's use this one. Just going to put that down there. Um, I'd like to use this turquoise one. Maybe just plop that up there. And then this red one, yeah, this one. I'm just going to use them all because why not? Because I want that. <laughs> okay. There we go. So there's that page. I'm realizing that I'm going to run out of room in this book. I'm going to have to have to use another book towards the end of the year but that's okay okay there we go there's our marguerite miller ta-da okay we'll put that over here out of our way okay so now we're on to the little bits of lace and you might remember we did some embossing on monday and this is very simple, you guys, very simple, but it's really, it's so cute. So this is going to be a pocket. So we're going to, maybe, if it, well, it's, these are a little big for a pocket, but, you know, whatever. We'll use it as an envelope or a pocket. And I wouldn't mind if that hung over. It almost just looks like a tab. So, yeah, so that'd be okay. Anyway little snippet of lace, you know, just that you have laying around on your desk. And then one little embellishment. It's as easy as that. Just real quick little project. And then we glue that down. And there it is. But I do think I want to um, do a little, a little bit of distressing at least on the edge. We'll do the edge first and see what we think. Of 
course, going over the whole thing, because it's embossed, you know, it will, it will pick up the pattern a little bit more. I'll try and remember to link that video below, but of the embossing from Monday. It was just from Monday, so it's two days ago. So yeah, you guys can find it. Okay, so I'm just going to, well, do I want to use, I think I'll use Fabri-Tac just to make sure things stick. Goodness, only glue goobers, there's always that. First video of the day, so the glue goobers have not been addressed as of yet. <laughs> I'm just going to pop down the lace. I think it goes this way. Pop that down. And pop down this little embellishment. So I put the put these things together prior to the video just so that this part would go quick because I think Roxy's will take a little bit. But isn't that just cute? Very simple, but a great way to use your little snippets of lace that you have laying around, right? So then this one is more like a little applique and I thought, wouldn't that be cute with one of the butterflies? This butterfly is from... Um, Lorette Chandler, she and her daughter Jolene have a new Etsy shop. It's called Journal Supply and Design, I think. I think that's right. I'll try and remember to link that too. Yeah, so um, I just went in my little, I have a little bin that I have a lot of laces in that um, are, you know, just little, little bits left over. And so that's what I just, I just went and grabbed whatever was in there and then figured out, hmm, what would go good with that? And this one, I think the butterfly is going to be cute. Yeah. So there's that one. Super quick, super easy. Just, um, one's very similar to that other one but that's okay because I think these will go great in some of the spring journals that I have planned <sighs> gotta get busy on those or it's gonna be summer <laughs> oh time just is flying time flies when you're in a gym for seven hours <laughs> oh it's always good though. Lots of we got lots of visiting in with my daughter-in-law. My son wasn't there. He was on a work trip to San Diego. So he was gonna learn to surf. So I'm just dying to hear how that went. He sent my daughter-in-law a, a text and said I just wanted to say I love you in case I get eaten by sharks. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. He's hilarious. Okay, so here's a kind of a green one that's fun. That'll be uh, also a good garden or, or spring or summer sort of envelope. This envelope came from MK Maz Designs on Etsy. She had like a little pack of a variety of envelopes. I so honestly, I admire the shop owners that are so good about getting stuff in there for us to use because I mean, I just, I just never have time to do my Etsy as I would like to. I mean, get my journals on there. But I have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, from my mixed media days to put on there. And I just have not gotten it done. But I don't know. Maybe I'll have time one of these days. Yeah, just very, very simple. But I think they're just so cute. Okay, so here's a Christmas one. 
got a couple Christmas ones here. Trying to get a little ahead on some ephemera for Christmas too. I have no plans for what Christmas journals I'm going to do. But you never know, somebody will probably come out with new digitals that I just think I need to make. <laughs> and I have lots of Christmas digitals on my computer that we can we can go back to too. Pop that down and I don't care if the Edges are a little flippy floppy. I'd almost rather that it gives it a little texture. There we go, Santa. Yeah, fun. Okay. And then this one is, um, it's the month of December is what the embossing folder was. I think I'll go over this one a bit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, just kind of distress that up a little bit. Let's go this way with the lace on this one. And we've got a little snowman. Cute. That's fun. This one we went over with Distress Oxide, and I have another one of Lorette's butterflies here that just matches up beautifully. So let's get our lace down and our butterfly. Put that kind of down in the middle. Very fun. Then I have one that I did with Inca Gold, and this one is going to be for the circus, one of the circus journals I'm working on. And this stamp is from Joey Cardmaker's Circus Circus Kit. And get some glue on him. Boom, there we go. So just like that, we got a whole pile of those envelopes ready for future journals. What'd we do? Looks like about eight of them. So very fun. Okay, so we'll look at those closely when we're done as well. Okay, Roxy's Weekly Challenge was some little booklets of paper. I decided I want some of this um, this old rag paper, music paper stuff in these. So it's collecting it's collecting together some little booklets of paper, basically. Um, I think I could just give that a tear there, and they're gonna be they're gonna be folded. Ooh, isn't that lovely? I might like the raggedy edge at the edge. So, kind of can do different sizes, too. Um, so, what if we did, I'm trying to think, like, I'm thinking of a taller one. Okay, well, let's just, let's just tear this, how tall we want it. We probably don't want it much more than like seven and a half or something. Yeah, that'll be good. Oops, let's just, okay. So this is gonna be a tall one, but I also want it to be thinner. So I'm just gonna 
rip a bit of that off. That can that will definitely be used for something. And I'm gonna do that. And this one is a little shorter, so it'll be it'll be short and stocky, and it's plain, so that's a little different. And then I don't know. Let's just do this one in half too ish. So that'll make six of them. Ooh, that was so pretty there. That would be weird to have it that way, though. Okay, I'm just going to go like this. Okay, so those I knew I wanted to add in. Let's see what else we have. So um, I grabbed... These are my my bigger like book page book page. Um, they're pretty much full book pages. Let's just say. I also grabbed these, which are just some old 1938 kind of um, receipt sort of things. One of those would be good with there. Let's see. It's kind of cool. I could do this one in half and have it 1934, this one. Just was kind of grabbing some paper here and there. Let's see. That one's not very interesting. Here's a blue one. Let's just do that one in half. And I guess the idea of these is kind of just to have papers that somebody can play with. And Rachel's done this before in a, a similar sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's a cool one. Look at this one. Wow. That's really cool. Let's just do that much of it um yeah so anyway that's kind of the idea is just to put these in for somebody to play with okay then another thing I grabbed was I grabbed some map so I thought that might be kind of fun So we'll put that with these ones. Um, let's see, what's this a map of? I have no idea. No idea. So it's, it's a foreign country. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get love this edge here so let's do that there's another little scrap for something else i don't know maybe we can make a little tiny one once we're done um let's just do that in half and put that with those two Gosh, I'm going to have to turn on my heater. It's a little chilly down here. It's been very nice here during the during the day and everything, but I think it's supposed to I think we're supposed to go back to winter here in the, not too long. The other thing I grabbed here was some piano roll. I don't know. I was thinking maybe that could be kind of neat. See how how this works. So we'll do that and have two for these ones. It's very rolly. That's piano roll. Let's 
do a couple for those too. So this week is gonna be gonna be a little bit busy, not too bad, I don't think. Um today I'm filming all day long trying to get ahead. Tomorrow my friend Deb's coming over. Let's see, Wednesday, they're coming to clean my carpets. I'm super excited for that. I have let that go way too long. Um, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit more. Um, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, I don't think there's anything. I don't know. But then next weekend, we're going back to Missoula to help my son thatch his yard. So, yeah, just, we're just traveling on the weekends. It makes it feel busy. So, okay, so that's that one. Maybe we can go this way and put that in with the tall one. Yeah, that's too tall, so I'll just give it a little haircut. Okay. All righty then, so we did those. I was also thinking about, I might have some digitals we could put in there. Well, these two are a couple of my collage digitals. We'll do that. They're just the right size, really, for these half ones. Let's see, what else do we have? This is a bit small, but I think it can go on that one. This is a Carol Cuts design, K-U-T-Z. That's pretty. It's a bit small, though. Okay, what else do we have? Got that. I could go in one of those. I'm going to have to make it a little a little shorter though okay so that can go in that one what else do we have in here this one we could go with there Maybe we'll just fold this over. That'll work. Did I? Oh, I turned on my heater, but it's unplugged because we were gone. <laughs> like, I'm still cold. <laughs> okay, then we've got a couple more here. Let's see. What do we have here? This would be good that one and this would be good for the tall one okay so did the digitals in each one and I also grabbed some like book pages let's use, let's use some of these from triple V vintage I think maybe figure out how to get into it that's always my main challenge you know but these are lovely old old book pages from triple v triple v vintage okay we've got a couple of that one's together this one's together this one's really together this one's ifily together but we're going to use it anyway. Um, that one's nice. I think that one could go there. Let's put that one there. That one there. And this little guy here. Okay, got a book page in each one. So how many things does that give us? That gives us six things. I think that's 
probably good. Oh, my hands are so cold. <laughs> okay, let's kind of put these together a little bit. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to put the um, map in the middle like that okay so those are gonna go like that but we're not done we got to put like a little decorative something on the front okay so there's that one let's put this one together I think I'm gonna do the same I just love that music it's just so gorgeous so So what can you do? You just got to use it. Got to use it. Don't have these in the same order as the other one, and that's just fine. Okay, this one. Might as well go with this. Ooh, I kind of like that. So put that in, that in, that in, and that in. I like how this shows out the edge. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's see. Um, what do we want on the front of here? Maybe we'll put you there. And you. We don't have any map for this one do we let's just do it let's just use this okay that can be the middle that 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 and this okay that one's got I think a few more pages than some of them, but that's okay. Okay, so there's that. This one, I'm gonna fold this. Okay, I'm gonna do music again. It doesn't matter because these are gonna be in different journals or with different journals. So as far as that goes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if they're the fronts are the same. Okay, there's that one. Now this one. That's a cool thing. I'm tempted to put that on the outside. I think I will. Okay, so we put our little bundles together. Now I grabbed out a bunch of just, just different leftover digitals that I thought we could use maybe on the fronts. We'll just, we'll see, we'll see how we go here. These are from um, Artie Mays. And I thought this would be really pretty on some of them. I mean, that's really pretty. I might want, might want one more little page in there. So I guess as we do these, we can kind of see, I'm going to do this one also. Maybe on the tall one. But now I'm not going to do these because if I fold them, the rose is on the back. So, so there's that. Okay. Just looking to see what else is in here. These are basically the same. This one's pretty. It's pink. 
Maybe we'll use that. It's cardstock, but that's okay. Maybe we'll use that one too. I don't know. I don't want them to be all the same. I'll just save that aside in case we need it. How about? Okay. And then this is, I don't know who. Somebody, somebody. Do I have it in here somewhere? Don't no, seem to. Okay. Well, Actually, this one would be good for this tall one. Let's just fold it not a whole lot, but enough to catch in the binding. Ooh, yeah, that one's fun. Okay. This one, again, the flower's on the wrong side. Because if I do that, then it's just that. So that's kind of a bummer. That's a cool kind of thing, but I suppose we could go like that. And then we could go like that. If it'll catch. Hmm. No, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So obviously I did not have these picked out ahead of time. <laughs> Okay, we could put this one with one of these. All right, so then what else do I have? This is from Rach and Bella Crafts. I don't know what's all in here. This is Welsh Vintage Ephemera, this one's called. That might be kind of cool, kind of a, a more neutral one. So we can put that one, that one there. I might have to go down here so it's caught in the binding is what I'm thinking. Okay, so those are good. What else do we have in here? That's, that's really fun. Kind of am thinking, I think I want to put that there. Yeah, just kind of different. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, none of that. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got this. Stacy Stories, this one's from. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, isn't that pretty? Hmm. Well, this one I'm just getting crazy with, but I like that, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, well, there's that one. Um, got some. Flowers. There's black and white pages here. Let's see. Well, that's different. Let's do that. Do that. Isn't that pretty? I don't think I want to cover that. Okay. Let's just check out what else is in here. That's really cute, too. Maybe we can put that up a little bit. And put this down here. That's nice. Hmm. 
Hmm. I like that with that. Okay, we've got them covered. So I don't need this one. I kind of feel like I want something else with this one. Something sort of on the bottom. What do we have? Ooh, well, there's that. Why not? Let's use that. Again, just trying to use up some of my uh, some of my extra printed things. Oh, I'm running into roses. That's what I'm running into. Okay, put these all away, and then our next step is to bind it all. So what I'm thinking is, I've got got some little twine here which twine would be really cute on this baker's twine would be cute you could use you know binding thread too oh that one's like just the right size kind of okay we'll just grab what we think looks good with each of them okay i'm just going to stack these up to get them out of my road for this part how we doing time-wise? Yeah, we're pretty good. I don't know if we'll get them all done, but we'll be close. Okay, so I'm gonna get my pokey tool. Rachel used her crocodile and did a, uh, punched a hole. I'm just gonna use my awl. I think that will work. Um, yeah, and see if this will go through. 12. 12. That's good. Okay. So this one, I think I will, you kind of have to get your papers. She did two holes. You could do three, which I might have to just to hold some of my, some of my stuff here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do three because I have these smaller things but I kind of would like them centered. So, like that. Okay, and Rachel had big paper clips, which I don't have handy, so I need my, I'm just gonna use my binder clips. I might be able to get away with just using two because this is kind of a, you could use your book cradle for this. I think I might just use a book to just real quick, like, kind of get them. Yeah, I should be able to hold it well enough that I could just use two of these. Okay. So I think I'll just use my little, my sad little book that I have used for years. Now, if I do... I think I'm going to do two on this one because, and I'm just going to um, kind of go on these middle things. So it's not going to be out to the edge, but that's, that's okay. So I'm going to go from the outside. Like that. Easy peasy. And get this off of there. Kind of somewhat center it. Yeah, see, I missed the top of that, so it's going to be a little floppy, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah. So when Rachel did hers, she actually... Let me show you once this is undone. She did two holes and then she put the string around like this. But I guess I don't prefer that because it can tear your edges here. So I'm just going to do mine in the middle. Now, I do think I want, and I should have probably done this ahead of time, but I think I want to give it a bit of a bone fold there. There, there's the first one. Yay. 
Okay. Let's do this guy, which is gonna need, that's gonna need some many, many, many <laughs> holes. <laughs> um, let's see. I put that at the top of this that would be easier but I don't know if I'm gonna like it as well I think it's fine okay let's do that so that those all catch and so if we go down about an inch okay all right clip them Let's see. So, I think I'll go right here. And right here. And in the middle, this one I'm going to do three on. So, maybe we'll use. Little bit of baker's twine on this one. Just gonna kind of eyeball it. Where's my scissors? I haven't even used my scissors today. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, I think. Um, I think these would be real cute to send along with a journal or, you know, I mean, you could put them in a pocket too. I'm gonna try not to catch that. If I catch it, I can't cinch it up. Okay, well, that's weird how I did that, but you know. Okay, so I think I'll stick this under just to figure out one more little something to stabilize it. And then we'll just have a little bow on the outside. Okay, there's that one. Oh, I forgot to do this again. Doesn't matter, I guess, if we do it after. There we go. So there's that one. Okay. You, I'm going to do. Okay. What do we have in this one? Yep, we've got... Some smaller things. I think I'm just going to do two holes in this one, though. No, I got to do three because I've got that little piece on the outside. Okay, that's all right. I'm looking over to see what else I might have to. Oops, yeah, see, <laughs> definitely need the three holes. Okay, so. thinking something pink would be fun. I think this is all one piece, but it it gets thicker as it goes. And so I kind of want the thin part, but that's okay. All sorts of tangled. There's the knot right there. Let's get that out of there. Okay, getting there. There we go, okay. So I think this end is thinner. I'm gonna go ahead and do my three links.
kind of fun to do a little a little bit of a different um, tie on each one. That's kind of fun. Okay, whoops. Totally had it and then I didn't. There we go. All right, let's get this, get this poked. Okay. Middle. Let's do about right there. And here. And here. Okay. This guy's just not going to want to stay on there. But we shall go through him. And then go through this. Oh. Where'd my needle go? Didn't go the right way. That's for certain. There we go. Okay, and here. And then, let's fold this down. So the idea though, is that you can tear these papers out and use them in your projects. So let's see, I need, I need that to be bigger. Cute little pink string. Good. Did that. How we doing? Doing okay. I don't know if I'm going to get the other three done, but but that's kind of cute. I might put, let's see what I have. I might put some kind of cute little, I have a cute little, here's one. Let's put one of these just right on here. That's just gonna hold that a little bit. Okay, it's that one. All right. I'm going to do this one because it's going to be easy. The other two. Let's just do two holes in this one and we'll see how that goes. Um, move that down a little. Get that up a little. Have it somewhat centered. All right, so we'll just do two little holes on this one. Making sure we get through the short ones. many fun things to choose from. Um, ooh, there's a little piece of string. I think that might be about the right size, close to it. Let's try that. Okay. So, let's see. I'll go from the outside again. I don't know. Maybe this is not going to be big enough. We'll see. My goodness, there we go. Yeah, that's gonna work, I think. Oh. 
Okay, I'm just going to tie this into a knot, no bow. Okay, so there's that one. Yep, just a little tight. That's what Rachel did, but she went down here and up here. That's so just a little different tying in variation. Okay, I think because this is really tall, I think it's going to need to have three, um, three holes on this one. We like to do let's do some green let's grab this oh my gosh that is a long piece let's use this twine for this one okay and this one needs three we decided so I'm gonna go middle first and then I've got a shorter piece right there. So I'm going to go here and put this end here and about here. Here. Okay. I don't know if this is going to fit in my needle. Ha! Got it. Okay, so let's just, no, we want the outside, right. Okay. Come on, come through. It's thick twine, it doesn't want to go through. I'm going to get it though, because I'm determined. why Rachel used a crocodile to make a bigger hole because she was using big twine too. Let's see. Oh, chewed that up a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work. Maybe a little longer. The crumbs were from the paper I was poking into. That's what that was from. All right. So there is that one. And I think what I'll do is leave this last one and I'll do it off camera, but you get the idea. Just a variety of papers. All, I forgot to bone fold this one. Variety of papers and stitch together to, for, I mean, you can put it in a pocket or you can use it as a little thank you. So let's real quick like recap what we did. So Roxy's weekly challenge, we have these little, little booklets of paper. I'm really happy with all of those. Those are just real fun. Okay, so that's that. We have our embossed envelopes with a little bit of lace. Christmas two. And there we go with those. And then we also have our Marguerite Miller. So there we have it. 
I hope you all have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.